I can't let all of this craziness in the world stop me from doing the things that I want to do. When the pandemic first hit back in March, Louis Badagni accepted he would have to cut back on traveling. Then in September, he saw a social media post about someone who had recently vacationed in Cuba. So we started doing our research, asking questions, uh, looking at what uh, the options were. Badagni and his wife decided to go. They made a personal decision to get COVID tested in Calgary beforehand and then self-isolated at home until they had to go to the airport a week later. Once they arrived, Batani says everyone on his plane was tested for the coronavirus at the Cuban airport and then sent to their hotels to await their results. Within less than 24 hours, they found out they were negative and were finally able to relax and enjoy their vacation. For the most part, we forgot about it. We were on a COVID-free vacation. We, we had escaped uh, all of this craziness. Um, and we felt really, really comfortable. There's not many people like Batonyi taking vacations outside of Canada, according to travel experts City News spoke with. You can see 5 to 10 percent people are asking now, can they able to fly? This agent tells me he almost had to close his travel business in Edmonton because of how slow things are right now. He's not alone. Many travel companies we reached out to are debating whether they can stay afloat until the pandemic is over. So when you are not getting any money, then how you can survive to open your office? Right. Batani encourages those who want to travel to do their research and to be prepared for sudden changes. I think a lot of us are feeling a tremendous amount of anxiety and, and experiencing some mental health challenges because we're stuck in our houses and we, we don't want to try to do the things we used to do because it's more difficult. But Don Yee tells me he felt so safe on his Cuba trip that he plans to go back in November. From Edmonton, Sheryl Tasaskew, City News.